During these 50 days of Easter celebration, we reflect on our baptism. We reflect on how God gives us a share in divine life. As a little child, the water is poured upon us. And the priest says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today's first reading speaks about the baptism of the Ethiopian court official. He was in charge of all the gold and silver of the queen of Ethiopia. But more precious than all that gold and silver was the water baptism that Philip baptized him and he began to share in that divine life. St. Paul writes in baptism, we die with Christ, we rise with Christ. We are plunged into the Paschal mystery. We begin to share truly how we die to an old self and rise to new life. In our gospel reading, we hear how Jesus teaches the people in this sixth chapter of St. John's Gospel, the Bread of Life Discourse. Jesus identifies himself as the living bread from heaven. So again, we can reflect on our first Holy Communion. What a beautiful and memorable day. How we could share in Jesus in the very best possible way to be united with Jesus and how we can share in the Eucharist Sunday by Sunday or day by day. The other day I was figuring when I made my first communion in second grade and how every Sunday from then until now I have been at Mass and shared in the Holy Eucharist. And I came up with 3,200 times. <laughs> but then I should add in all the weekdays. And so that number would be so much greater. <clears throat> During these 50 days of Easter, we want to reflect on how precious this gift is. Oftentimes, we hear of surveys of people of the church who have confusion or ignorance about the real presence, about Jesus in the Eucharist, how it is truly the Lord, body and blood, soul and divinity. And this part of John's gospel is so very important because Jesus repeats three times, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread come down from heaven. And finally, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. How easy it is to take these gifts for granted. How automatic it can be to come into church, make the sign of the cross with holy water, and not think about the meaning. So we are challenged and invited during these days of Easter to reflect and give thanks to the Lord. There's also a reference to the Holy Spirit in our first reading. The Spirit of God takes Philip away after he does the baptism. And so we have our three sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Eucharist. So we are full members of the church, full members of the body of Christ. Because of the gifts given to us, then we are given the mission to share the good news, to share how Philip shared with that official from Ethiopia, to invite people to know they are invited also to share in the divine life of God. What a precious gift, more valuable than any sum of silver and gold. <clears throat> 